Welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I am Tabitha Brown. This is my amazing husband. I'm Chance, what's up? <laughs> uh, bring the beat in. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. But on bump bump. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Tab and Chance. Remix. Ain't no remix. I thought because it's your ain't birthday no coming. It was gonna be, you want to do the birthday remix? Mm -hmm. No. Nah, Happy fine. birthday uh -uh, to uh -uh, uh -uh, you. Uh -uh. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, his birthday tomorrow, so I was just, no? Okay. All right, it, you know what? I'm, this is gonna be your show anyway today, Thundercat, because we're talking about something that's kind of important to the men folk. That you keep getting these questions this about. Is Tell them. No, this is important. This is important to all of us. To, yeah, women don't even know how important it is to. Us. They really don't. They really but let's don't. talk about it. What what people been asking you in your DMs? So I've been getting a lot of messages from women and men in regards to men playing games. Or men and their games. Video games. Video games. No, you know, um, games just in general. But oh. but I do, they, they, you know, mo the majority of them do come with. Well, I ain't want people to think games. he was like, man, my man playing games. He ain't oh, no, no, that ain't that kind of thing. <laughs> nah, nah. Right, I want to clarify nah. what we're talking nah, about here. Ain't that. So, game, <laughs> recreational. Yeah, talk, games. yeah, video games. <laughs> Right. Video games and or basketball or stuff like that too. Or no? Yeah, well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to it on the video games. Okay, we'll go just ahead. Keep it there because that's the more. Um, what are they asking consistent. exactly? Well, they're asking how do I feel about men playing video games? Should men be playing video games when they're married? Um, and some women are. Could you do a video talking about men and playing video games? And you know, they they kind of got their own personal battles that they want me to address. Mm -hmm. This ain't that. <laughs> Let, wait, can I speak to them women for one second? Yeah, go for it. Y'all must be early on in the marriage or something. Cause let me tell you something, <laughs> baby. I love when he go in there to play that game. Cause then that, that means I'm gonna watch me a little TV on my own or have me some me time too. Honey, read me a book or, you know, yeah. let the men go on in there, have them an hour or two in there and play them games. But go ahead, baby. You finish. Go well, ahead. Well, nah, you, I'm glad that you spoke on it. And, yeah, and I like it. From, a, you know, from your perspective. But I'm going to start by saying this. Let's ask, I'm going to ask you a question. Why do men play video games? A number of reasons. Okay. But I know as, as it pertains to me, it's less about the video game. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, uh, look, COVID, right? We're on lockdown. We're on lockdown. I hadn't played a video game in years. But when we're on lockdown and we're all confined to our homes, I was able to get on the video game with my, you know, my whole system and everything and uh, be with my brothers, be with a lot of my friends that I consider to be um, you know, helpers in, inside of my marriage, inside of my, me being a father, in my mental. So I was able to get on there and we could just talk. Uh, we could be in a full-on uh, uh, war, literally, <laughs> on Call of Duty, and be having a conversation about something that is still helping me today, uh, a year removed from the, from the pandemic. Um, we could be on there, and I mean, literally, it's guns banging, and and we having a, a heartfelt conversation. Um, and and ninety nine percent of the time, that's what it's about. There are those times where it's competitive, um, but most times it has less to do with being competitive, and more to do with just being able to tap out of being an adult um, for the moment. Um, I gotta get this. It's the phone call. This real yeah. life. This real life. Hold your mute. It's less about the competition and more about I know for me. Mm -hmm. um, what, what would you call that? Uh, uh, the community or uh, the gathering? I guess yeah. of, uh, of of. Well, it's like a it's like 
also kind of like bonding with your it's, friends. That's exactly right? what it is. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. it is for me. Mm-hmm. Now, with that being said, and an escape. It's and, and it's an escape. Yeah, and it's an escape. Um, and I know it seems childish to some, um, but it's all about you know perspective and and balance. Mm-hmm. So. I, I, I feel the need to say this, just on how I handle video games, right? Because I, I, wanna, I wanna be sure to remember that I'm a father and I'm a husband, mm-hmm. and I wanna set a good example. Um, I wanna set a good example for my son, so my son doesn't see me play video games too often. Usually when I get on a video game, it's after my, I put my son to bed. Um, I will, sometimes engage and play with him um, because he wants me to play with him. But usually I wait till my son goes to bed and um, we're at the end of our night. It's kind of like your nightcap. Yeah, it's like- This and, is wind and, down time. And, it, and it's not during the middle of the day. It's not, I'm not waking up and obsessed with a video game because to me that, you know, it's not setting a good example and me being busy, you gotta prioritize. So that's not what I'm advocating for. My, my brothers, my, the guys that I consider to be my brothers, my, my close friends and family who we do this together with, we share the same thinking. It ain't too often that we are in the middle of the day <laughs> as grown men trying to get on a video game. I don't know any of my friends that have the time to do that. Um, and it's not every night. It's one of those things where it's like, hey man, you got anything going on? Uh, and this will come up. It depends on what tab trying to do. Now, if we about to do some grown folk business, Case ain't no video game. games going down. But <laughs> actual Gonda on in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Put but... Put the music on. Yeah, however... Turn the lights down low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying... You know, so everything we play our own games. Everything in moderation, <laughs> and uh, you know, prioritizing. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, that's I think that's about all I can help in terms of some of these. And and most of these messages I'm getting is from women. They right. having an issue with their husbands playing video games. But I want to ask this mm. um, to to the women who you know have that issue with the men playing video games. Is there a real difference than you being on social media all day? I say, ooh, babe. Boy, I love you for that one. Like that. Good one like that. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. That's a good one, yeah. Because we we will spend more time on here than they may spend on a video game. And there is really no difference. This is also a game. JR look like he about to start shouting back there. <laughs> <laughs> JR back there like, yes. <laughs> But seriously, like, we playing on our phone, right? And some people, we play games on our phone. Yeah. Um, is there really a difference? Now, I'm on here, the majority of my time is because I be working. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he'll be like, man, stop that work and put your phone down, right? Um, but a lot of us, we do this to pass time. We do this to take our mind off of work. That's what they doing. They taking their mind off of, you know, you know, that's what my husband do. He takes his mind off of, like, what's happening. Like, this is his release time. Now, well, I say there are some extreme, excessive gamers out there. Unless mm-hmm. they making money. And that's, that's their right. business, okay? Um, but sometimes it can be too much because you ain't handling business. You didn't, Now, you didn't play the game all day and didn't you forgot to pick the kids up or, you know, you, you ain't take the food out the freezer or you ain't took a bath into that. You Man, ain't been you, grown. You ain't been, you you ain't been grown. Like, you ain't acting like a, like a right. child now. But if it's because, <laughs> you know, you don't have something to do and you're focused on Kim playing the game and it's bothering you because you don't have a thing that you do, that could be something that, and then, that's an internal thing, mm-hmm. right? If he's doing everything else, that's that's cool. But this is the only thing that you have a problem with. Then sometimes we got to look at ourselves and say, well, shoot, do, do I need to find me something to do for about an hour or two while he playing the game? Look, let me get back to me. Shoot, that's going to be my me time, right? right? Um, which I do. 
you know, he go play the game. And I also love when he does it because it puts him in a different headspace. You get to tap yeah. into being irresponsible for a little bit. Yeah. You can be, There's you, also you, one thing that you did not mention. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's one of those Both things. Both of us can still have fun. And you need to. Exactly. You we need also need to. To, to feed the child inside of all of us. Mm-hmm. Right? There's a, there's a healthy amount of time that we can all feed the child inside of us. Now, again, this is not us advocating for people to play games all day long. Mm -mm. Unless, of course, you're making money doing it. Again, that's your business. But if it's just for a mental break, if it's to, you know, connect with your friends, because sometimes he playing with friends he don't get to see. Absolutely. Right? And, you know, mm -hmm. like my son, he gets to play with his friends. They talking and they playing. I get it. That ain't my thing, right? I ain't really played uh, games since I was saving the princes on, uh, you know, Super Mario, Mario and the Legends of Zelda. <laughs> okay, I was doing duck hunting. I would never kill a duck. Now I'm vegan, but I was doing the duck hunt on a Nintendo. That's how long it's been since I was <laughs> playing the video. Yeah, okay. you old, so, right? But I did listen. This how this how far removed I am. Chaz just built this like little. He, he got a new like golf simulator in in, in the room. And it's like a big projector. <laughs> I was like, babe, let's get the Wii and put it on there so we can do the bowling. So he's like, they don't make the Wii no more. Said, they don't make the Wii. <laughs> they don't make the Wii no more. Ain't nobody told me. But I don't be playing, the, you know. But I love that my son has his time where he plays with his friends on the game. Yep. I love that my husband has his time to play. And that also gives me a break. Sometimes my son will be up there. Y'all know I be in the kitchen cooking. I might be like, hey, bud. Give mommy five minutes without the yelling so I can fit, do this video of cooking in the kitchen, right? And when Chance is in there, you know, he be in his man cave. That's his time. So I think it's great. I think there's a, a healthy amount of time everyone should have to themselves. And whatever it is that they're doing, as long as they ain't hurting themselves or nobody else, they should be able mm -hmm. to do it. That's yeah, just my now, opinion. Now, you already hinted on this, and I want to close with this. Part okay, right go and close it out, babe. For all the women who have messaged me, do not weaponize this message <laughs> against that man. Do not go back and take partial. <laughs> don't take it out of context. Don't go back Chance and say, said you don't need to Chance be playing said you don't that need game to be playing at 12 o'clock in the day. You don't need to be. Because <laughs> his day might not be the same as Chance's That's right. Day, right? My, my time, my life is different yeah. from the next man. Everybody get, live a different life. I'm busy during the middle of the day, the morning, all day long, and then when I put my son to bed at night, and on occasion, I'm yeah. able to say, hey, look, I'm going to go in here if and get on the video game. Yeah. Um, and then listen, if he be on there too long, ladies, pull out the bottle of ashwagandha and just sit it in front of the game. <laughs> put your... Put your robe on and walk in there and be like, you've been on this game a little too long. Hey, and usually. Stand in front of. And usually. You still playing games? I don't even say goodnight to the fellas. Click. Power off. <laughs> y'all still playing games? Hey, man, I'm a holler y'all. They already know what it is. Or you want to play a game. Yeah, I just walked in the room, dog. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> That's how you do that. You play your game too, girl. I'm out. I'm out. I'm about to play a different video game. <laughs> We're going to talk about that on the next one. The Oculus thing that we remember I was telling you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, another, that's another day. All right. That's it. We're going to close it out. Uh, wish my husband happy birthday tomorrow his birthday. I just thought about something. Your birthday tomorrow. I don't want to play no more Call of Duty. I want to play some Call of Duty. <laughs> Ring the bell. <laughs> And call me, because I'm coming. <laughs> y'all go about y'all business and have the most amazing day. But if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's head. Come on, the call of booty. Yeah, you cut it out, man. Y'all have a good day, man. Happy birthday to my husband, y'all. Tell him happy birthday in the comments. Love y'all. <laughs> Bye.